So today we'll do it a little bit more on our basic model. This model is just for technique, so it's a, a mishmash. So we've got our roof windows there on this side. I think we'll put a couple of dormers or a dormer and see how that goes. So to start off, we need a rectangle tool. Bring it down along the edge, roughly. To a dormer size. Pencil tool, divide that box, click on that face, copy, triple click that geometry, delete. Edit, paste in place, we'll paste that end wall back again. Right click reverse face and then we want to extrude it uh, point zero six or to our normal wall and then on the wall we want to copy that end wall and then we'll triple click right click make a group edit paste in place and we'll clad the end wall OOB and we'll come to our wood cladding and we'll clad the end wall. Okay, so then we select the back wall and wood cladding, right click, make a group. Now we don't want the dormer there, so we'll move our dormer end wall across. Down a bit, down a bit more. I suppose it'll be about there. So then we want move tool, control. So we duplicate it along the red axis and we'll move it across. So 1.5. Will give us 15 mil, and then we right click, click again, and we'll flip along the red axis. So we've got our two walls there. Need to join that up a bit. So double click an end wall. I have to double click again because it's a group within a group. We use our tape measure, and we'll measure along the wall there. So. Uh, 0.25 and we'll get a pencil tool and we'll go along the green axis draw a line pick tool we'll pick that little face there and then we'll let push pull tool we'll pull it across to the front there and we'll make our window frame up pick tool click away then we've got our two end walls and the front. So we need a, a roof. So we'll go to the two arc point. Now we need it to overhang the edge a bit. So one way you can do this is go along the red axis on the edge. We'll overhang it by 0.15. Yep. Same again on the other end along the red axis 0.15. And that'll give us the overhang for our roof. Two arc point, end point, go straight across, end point. And we need to go. On the blue axis. So when that line there changes to blue like it has done, we'll type in 0.3 enter and that will give us a no, we'll go 0.4. That's a little bit better. 
we'll get a pencil tool and we'll join that bottom line up and we've got our start of our wall, uh, roof so we extrude and we'll pull this along from the top all the way across until we hit the back of the, the roof so this part will be in the roof and that will be attached and what we're going to do now is slice it at an angle so we'll come in we'll highlight the roof double click so the roof is highlighted we'll copy that edit we'll paste in place and then we'll do a control no, we haven't added a group if we do triple click now right click make group and then control and click the face of the roof there and then we use our move tool control nope not control along the green axis so we'll move the the roof and the dormer roof along the green axis this is excess geometry we'll delete that out and we want to explode the roof so we've got our original roof dormer roof if we put a box around them so they're all selected right click intersect faces with model and what that does will slice through that model this plane here so now if we go to the rubber tool with a bit of luck that's the back edge gone and you can see along the edge and then we'll take that off like a spare bit of geometry there so now we've got our roof that will just sit on the top of the original roof we'll highlight it make it a group and then we'll push it back into place so on the edge on the green axis On the green axis and we'll come down there. so now we've got a dormer that will sit on top of the roof and a dormer so what what we need is to cut a hole in our original roof so if we double click our original roof and make it make it editable pencil tool and we'll draw a square inside the dormer pick tool and we'll pick that square push pull tool and we'll push that part of the roof till it changes to the back face and there we go click away and we've got a hole in the roof so if we click on the side the frame and the roof right click make a group make sure it's all right right click hide yep so a hole in the roof and our dormer we want to put some windows on the front i normally print these separate So you have the option of opening or closing the windows so we rectangle tool fill that front in pick tool double click right click make a group double click so it's highlighted we come up to our divide selective face into panels tool and i call this the window tool because it's a good a good job we'll exit that that'll be two windows so we'll have to cut that down the middle pencil tool down the middle copy click all right click erase edit paste in place we've got half a window my mistake so now we double click the window and highlight the pane We'll go to our panel divider small window so i would go 
two uh, two rows, two columns. Frame depth, I normally go 0.1, which works out at one millimeter. Frame width, uh, keep it at one millimeter, or we'll say, and we'll cut that down actually because it's a small window. Uh, point uh, zero eight, just a bit smaller. And the only other one we have to do is divider width. 0.04 which is the width of our nozzle on the extruder and create it on the back create window and that was fairly good double click till we highlight the glass and we delete the glass click away We've got one window on the wall move tool on the corner Control and on the red axis, move it across, and then we've got our second window. So when we go to print, we've got two windows. We can print separately so we can have them open and closed. And then we've got the door with a bit of wood cladding. And the top you can say felt. Right, now if we click, highlight all these three objects, right click, make a group, right click, hide. On the roof, highlight the roof, we'll go to OOB and we'll use the same roof tile half of set I've set up and we'll do a control Z because I'll we'll cancel because we need to copy that, copy the roof, edit, paste in place and then work on it. OOB off offset that should be the same as that one there I think so and then we press OK so then we edit paste in place wrong edit unhide last or all and then we've got our dormer. It is sitting in the roof at the moment, but we'll print this separate and it should move it along the green axis there. Sit on top, back on the green. Sits on top of the tiles. I've just made one, but you can do the same principle, two along there, or you can have smaller ones and as many as you like but the principles there it will print if you print it face down this is a face or even on it's best face down on an FDM printer for using a resin printer you can put more detail on thanks for watching bye for now